Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. Over the last couple of episodes, I've been showing you guys how I've been dollar cost averaging into the market. Dollar cost averaging is basically when you buy a stock every single day or every single week, and you just don't, no matter what the price is, if the price is high or if the price is low, you're consistently buying the same stock or you consistently invest inside the stock market every single day or every single week or every single month at the same time. Now, I've been buying $5 worth of Apple every single day, $5 worth of waste management every single day, $5 worth of SPY every single day. And I've been showing you guys how I've been up over five, 10, 15 percent over some of these stocks from dollar cost averaging over the last couple of months. Now, I know all of that has been well, but you guys are still asking, why should I dollar cost average when I have a thousand dollars right now and I'm ready to invest inside the stock market? I don't want to I don't want to wait and buy the dips. I don't want to wait and buy the highs. I got a thousand dollars right now that I'm ready to invest inside of the stock market. So what should I do if I do not feel like dollar cost averaging? And I'm telling you guys, that's not a bad strategy at all. You do not have to dollar cost average in order to be successful inside the stock market. That is just one of the easiest investing strategies that um, you don't have to check the market every single day. It's kind of uh, laid back on autopilot to where you set up your app to invest every single day. But if you are paying attention to the market and you do see a nice little decent pullback, you are wondering what should you do with your thousand dollars? Well, I'm about to show you guys a little easy, simple strategy today that you can use by scanning the market, screening the market, and also doing some technical analysis to know exactly when uh, you should invest a thousand dollars inside of your favorite companies. Do not, I'm telling you guys right now, do not just invest a thousand dollars. Do not just invest $500 because the market pulled back on some stock that you heard of, but don't know anything about. You only go in and you buy the dip on great, amazing companies that just so happen to pull back that you are already paying attention to that you see that it's at a steal of a price those are the companies that you need to be paying attention to and just because they pull back for that day don't mean go in and throw a thousand dollars just because they pull back for that week don't mean go in and throw in a thousand dollars just because they pull back for that month don't mean going to throw in a thousand dollars don't say hey it's been pulling back this week this is the dip i've been looking for let me go in and throw a thousand dollars i'm telling you guys i learned the hard way to learn from my mistakes i'm trying to teach you guys so if you stick out the whole video you guys are going to walk away with some knowledge and some understanding on exactly how to try to beat the stock market and actually win more than you lose because remember the the name of the game is buy low sell high do not buy high and sell low so if you guys want to learn all of that information make sure that you go down and hit the subscribe button in fact i think youtube just added something to um this the youtube.com that if you hit the subscribe button right it's going to do a little cool and Animation. If you're already subscribed, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button because it helps out this channel more than you can even imagine. But if you're not subscribed, I am asking you to go down and hit that subscribe button and watch what the animation do. I heard that is pretty cool. But before we dive into the video, this video is brought to you by Moomoo. Moo. Sign up now by clicking the link down in the description. Deposit $100 and you can receive up to 15 free stocks plus a free stock of SoFi, guys. Guys, this is one of the best ways to get started. Even if you already have another investing app, it's okay to have multiple apps. You can sign up with Moomoo, Moo, use their free applications, use their free charts, use all of their stuff and still walk out with free stocks with everything that they're providing you also i'm gonna leave a link in the description to webull that link is going to be down in the description as well sign up deposit any amount of money you can deposit one penny if you want to and you can receive up to 15 free stocks as well guys this is literally free money do not miss out on this amazing opportunity from moo moo and also from webull but enough talking let's go ahead and dive straight into this video welcome back dreamers here we are thank you for hitting that subscribe button right yeah so here we are on tradingview.com ticker symbol spy the s p 500 it tracks the top 500 companies in america and as you guys can see this is a little pullback right here but this is just a chart over the last hour every bar on here represents one hour of the stock market so that means that it's a little bit in a downtrend and everyone is wondering now should i throw in a lump sum of money now is right now the time to throw in a lump sum of money well let's take a look at a couple of our favorite stocks let's go to apple ticker symbol aapl and this is apple over the last hour as you guys can see it did have a big pullback it's been on a downtrend all the way up from one of this one of his all-time highs of 196 dollars pulling all the way back to 165 um, dollars and right now it's at 168 dollars at the time of the recording of this video i'm recording this video on sunday it should come out on monday so it should somewhat line up right but this is just a one hour chart 
just because it's been pulling back over the last couple of hours, the last couple of days, the last couple of months does not mean anything. We want to zoom out a little bit. So if, even if we zoom out to the one day chart, right? We zoom out on Apple one day chart. It's still down below the 200 EMA line right here. The yellow line that kind of draws the support and resistance line. So if you was to put an arrow in the end of this 200 EMA line, it kind of shows which way that the market is going for that stock. And if we draw it right here, it would kind of point sideways and are starting to point down, right? So you say, hey, it's in the downtrend. It's now the right time to buy Apple. Well, if you had a lump sum of money, Let's zoom out even more. Let's go all the way back to the one week chart. So every bar on here represents one week, right? So let's zoom all the way out and zoom all the way out some more. There we go, guys. This is Apple over the last couple of weeks. As you guys can see, Apple usually only goes up. Now, every time that Apple pulls back to the 200 EMA on the weekly chart, it kind of bounces off of it and then goes back up pulls back, almost touched it, goes back up. Apple once again, put all the way back to the 200 EMA back in 2000, um, in January, 2023, all the way down to $126. That would have been the time to throw in a lump sum of money. That would have been the time to throw in your $500. That would have been the time to throw in your 100, uh, your $100. That would have been the time to throw in your $1,000. Now we take a look at Apple right now. Yes, it's been pulling back over the last couple of weeks, right? Yes, it's been pulling back over the last couple of days, but we take a look at it on the larger time frame, on the weekly time frame, and we look at it, it's still got a ways to go. Now, Apple could continue to trend uh, down this way, and then the 200 EMA could continue to go up this way, and it'll meet somewhere around here at the $150 point, right? So if it gets to $150, I would personally go in, throw in $1,000. If it pulls back even more, throw in a larger lump sum of money. Now, I will only do this on a company a state, a company that's stable, just like Apple, guys. Now, if I show you guys another example, another example of a company that's almost there, but not quite ready, that would be Google, G-O-O-G-L. Let's pull up Google, Google on the weekly time chart. As you guys can see, whenever it pulls back to the 200 EMA, even though that was the pandemic time, whenever you could catch Google on sale, as you guys can see over the last 20, 30, 40, 50 years, Google only goes up. It's hard to catch Google on sale, but you don't want to go in and say, oh, okay, now is the right time to buy Google. You want to just go ahead and let it just go ahead and pull all the way back to the 200 EMA on the weekly time frame to go in before you throw in my lump sum of money. Now, me personally, I had drew out this chart. I added it to my Patreon group inside of my Discord. If you guys wanna check that out, that's gonna be in the pinned comment section um, to my Discord. You sign up with Discord. I mean, you sign up to Patreon, you join the Discord over there. I post my technical analysis. I told everyone I was buying Google um, in this area right here. And of course it shot back up. Now, if it do pull back to this area right here, then I will buy more um, Google, but hopefully it bounces off of this and continue to trend back up. So this is another one say, hey, over the last, let's go to the four hour. So this is another one on the four hour time chart. Hey, it's below the 200 MA. It's, it had a major pullback right here. Is this enough? It's this where I need to be to go ahead and buy um, Google on this pullback. To me, to the new investors, this will be a major pullback to them. To me, this is not a major pullback. I will be, I will wait and be patient before I throw in a lump sum of money. So let's go ahead and pull up some examples of companies that are ready. The first one we're gonna pull up is PepsiCo, ticker symbol PEP. Now, PepsiCo, as you guys can see, has been pulling back. Um, it's one of my favorite companies inside of my portfolio. Now, as you guys can see, this is a major pullback and you're wondering, is it ready? Is it ready yet? Let's go to the one week chart and scroll all the way back down. Now, as you guys can see, once again, PepsiCo over the last couple of years from 2013 all the way to 2024, it's only done one thing. It's only gone up, right? It's only gone up over the last couple of years. And whenever it pulls back all the way back in 2018, hit the yellow, went right back up. 2020, of course, hit the yellow, went right back up. Now, this could be an amazing buying opportunity for us right here on Pepsi. It's trading right near the 200 EMA line. Uh, Pepsi had an all-time high of $193. It's at $159. That could be a steal for me. I'm comfortable buying Pepsi at $159 in a lump sum. And if it pulls back even more, I'm more, I would be more comfortable buying even more shares of PepsiCo 
at an even cheaper price because this is a company that has shown over time that they have a trend to trend up and to make money and to make profit over time. So PepsiCo might be one that's actually ready. Let's pull up one more. Now, okay, so here we are on company, company MMM. Now, over the last couple of years, MMM has been trending up. It's one of my favorite dividend stocks. It is a dividend king. I mean, they have increased their dividends every single year for at least the last 50 years, and they are inside the S&P 500. Now, as you guys can see, 3M usually only goes up. It is an amazing, rock solid company, but lately they have been pulling back and it's going to go and it's starting to bake through some of my support and resistance lines. So this is one of this is one of the companies that I'm not going to dollar cost average in on. But every time it pulls back to one of my barriers, let's say if we draw out a support and resistance line right here, it broke that. I'll buy a thousand dollars, pull out another support and resistance line down here. If it breaks that, I'll buy another thousand dollars worth of. 3m right because the odds of them going up statistically looking back in time is higher than a great amazing company like 3m continue to pull all the way back to 50 30 40 dollars like that right so once again you draw out your lines 100 dollars buy 100 shares 100 dollars buy a couple of shares if it pulls back to 67 dollars buy a couple more shares this is another company that i'm looking at to buy lump sums of shares from and the last one that i actually did this on was meta and we could look back in the past i told everyone everyone about the supports and resistance lines on meta this is meta of the on the weekly chart now when meta broke down this is when they announced hey we're changing from facebook over to meta uh, facebook crashed and went all the way down all the way down all the way down these were the support and resistance lines that i drew this is not the lines that we bought at but instead we bought because we didn't know when it was going to hit the bottom we started to buy on the way up so when meta fell all the way down to nine to 89 dollars when it started to trend back up and it came back to my resistance zone because meta was a, a a great company like facebook that had a whole bunch of cash and everyone information this was i knew it was i knew it was going to be a company that wasn't going to go bankrupt and wasn't going to fail so we was just waiting for it to kind of recover so when it got all the way back up to this zone right here um we bought some shares at 175 dollars when it got back to this zone, we bought some more shares at $200. When it got to this zone, we bought some more shares at $245. Lump sum, right? And then when it got all the way back to this zone right here, this is when we sold. So that would be a profit of around from here, all the way up here of 81% just over the matter of a couple of months, guys. From January 2023, in one year, in one year, we made 81%. That is completely insane. And that's when, you know, buying a large amount of shares might actually be better than dollar cost averaging all right so for the guys that stay tuned in this video you're about to get some amazing um information right here i know you guys are wondering hey how do you find these companies that have been pulling back well if you guys did sign up for moo moo here's one of the free stock screeners on the app all you have to do is go to the app hit search go down to stock screener right here and then hit new strategy and you want to go down to description you want to hit prices and then you want to hit companies near their 52 week low that mean over the last year these are companies that are near their 52 week low now if you hit view results it's going to show you 841 companies but we do not want to look at um penny stocks so let's go down to market cap and we're only going to look at companies that are worth between 10 billion to 100 billion dollars so that will get rid of all the penny stock companies and there you go uh, 56 results now we scroll down these are all the companies that are near that 52 week low that is a high valued company not any penny company so we scroll down let's take a look at um, bns bank of nova scotia and as you guys can see at one point in time earlier this year that was all the way up to 66 dollars and now they're all the way down to 40 to 40 dollars 39 dollars and 93 cents and our way so this is a company that has been pulling back over the last year so you want to use the stock screener go in find a couple of companies see if your favorite company is on that list do more research on them see why they're pulling back and see if this is an amazing opportunity to throw in a lump sum of money and there you go dreamers two easy strategies dollar cost averaging that i've been talking about on this channel for a while and this is another strategy is to wait until your favorite stock that's a good quality company 
pulls back to a price that is just irresistible. Don't just go in buying amazing companies because they pull back that day or that week or that month. You want to look over the uh, the broad scope of things. Take a step back, look at the entire company, see what's going on. And then before you throw in a lump sum of money, see if this company is going down for a reason or is it just on sale and we're getting in at an amazing time for an amazing value. But that's it, guys. Let me know if there's any companies near that 52 week low that you've been purchasing already. Drop that down in the comment section. Also drop down in the comment section. Do you would you rather invest a thousand dollars immediately or would you rather continue to dollar cost average over time and just sit back and relax and just buy the highs and the lows of these companies day after day? Let me know which one is your favorite down in the comment section. But before you go, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and sign up with Moo Moo. The link is down in the description. Get your free stocks. Sign up with Weeble. That link is down in the description. Get more free stocks. Even if you already have investing platforms, it is okay to have more than one investing platform. Remember to subscribe to this channel. If you do want to join the Patreon, that link is going to be down in the pinned comment section. Uh, join that join the discord over there i post all of my trades my technical analysis and we also have pro day traders in there that post their trades every single day so if you want to be a part of a community that want to be financially free just like you make sure you check out those links down in the description and in the comment section other than that i'm zeke bringing you the dream green show and i'm out peace